needs just a little bit of blockage. And fantastic. I have an iPad here a second ago so I can sleep. La da 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 da. Oh yes. I have the Rez Banana and Elon Milan or sometimes on the webs I do things like make videos and other times I go to San Francisco with cards that have videos filmed on them and then the files are corrupt and then I end up not editing the videos because I can't do the thing, but I do intend to refilm that video very soon because like I said on Twitter, I think it'll blow your face off. While I was in San Francisco, I made a slight detour to the Nevada desert where I went to this giant art festival thing commonly known as Burning Man. You may have heard of it. Freaking magical. magical. Bloop, bloop, bloop. A city pops up out of nowhere, an explosion of art, love, and weirdness. 65,000 people and everybody has a project. Zero trade of money or goods. People make dinner and give it away. People brew beer and give it away. People do art just to do art. And then at the end of the week, everything is taken down. The desert is scoured. Every piece of trash is picked up. Every piss hole is dug up. The national park is left exactly how it was found. I went with a group of current and ex-co-workers who became my family for the week. In the mornings, I rode my bike out into the middle of the desert, looked at some giant art structures, found a nice place to sit. I made a sign that said coffee, and I hung it on my bike. I then juggled until somebody rode by. They'd stop to watch, and I'd ask them if they'd like some coffee. Occasionally they would agree, and they'd come and sit with me in the desert as I made them a fancy pour-over. And this was my project. I also made a little apparatus that would allow for a spotlight to hang over my head as I walked around at night. Very similar to this moment. Neither here nor there. Hand motions! The people I met were amazing. Travelers, adventurers, lovers, artists, people who just wanted to be kids again. They drew pictures and told stories and played music and spun fire. They wore whatever they wanted to wear and they were whoever they wanted to be. I was nicely abducted by pink people and forced to make them pancakes. I climbed to the top of a 50 foot tower. I rode around on a 25 foot tall bed suspended from the back of a pickup. I saw a giant drivable steampunk octopus that shot fireballs balls from its hands. Tentacles! Freaking tentacles! I found a pop-up 24-hour diner that served amazing food by this big scary guy named Shannon. I went to a party in the middle of the desert at night that was only lit by people with flamethrowers. And oh dear god, so much more. Yes, this is a Rubik's Cube onesie. And yes, I have a giant foot on my wall. It seemed like a fitting video to show you my weird side. When I went to Burning Man, I expected to be harassed by overly intoxicated naked party animals. But the people were kind and respectful and generous. The drug usage was not even a thing. Some people talked about it a little bit and there was free alcohol everywhere, but I found if I I drank, I didn't have the energy to adventure all night long. All night long! One of the people I can't with said something like, Burning Man is drugs. There's no need for an altered state to do or see mind-blowing things. Don't be afraid to take your family with you. There were lots of kids there and they had an awesome time. My goal for next year is to get my parents to go. I don't think anything would be too distressful aside from a bit of public nudity. Bring earplugs if loud dubstep all night will prevent you from sleeping. If you plan on sleeping, it's really not too hot. It's not too dusty overall. It's worth it. So go to Burning Man next year. Make sure to spend some time by yourself. It'll be a life-changing experience. Let me know down below if you have any questions about my experience, if you've been before, what you thought, and if you haven't, why not? Goodbye, lovely internet people. I will see you very soon. Probably. Dear God, I have a lot happening this month. Goodbye! <laughs> In my last video thing I mentioned to you all that I was going to come out with a couple of Ravenclaw education videos. This is one of those videos. Did you know that every natural number can be represented by the summation of a set of different